Woohoo! Get everybody Lou Top Secret here in quarantine. No, I'm not. I still go to work. And today I thought I will show you fellas my Phantom Collection. Now that's not all of it, so don't start hating me already. But uh, let's take a look at what I have to offer here. So, first of all, quickly, let's jump over here. I have a cool Phantom lamp. And the pinhead's there to watch it. And you can switch it on and off. And that's pretty neat, isn't it? Energy sword from Halo. And right above that, I have the masterpiece from the Art of Horror. And the, 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 how cool is that? Thank you, Kev, Art of Horror, for sending it to me. I love it. And it's just cool to have that in my room. So now we've got that there, let's check out what we have here. So this is my Phantom Corner. I guess we'll call it Phantom Shelf or some shit. Anyway, so right off the bat, at the top here, we have a light switch to flick on so we can see everything a bit better and just have it all light up. So, where should we start? Over here. This is a mask that was included in one of the Phantom comic books, uh, 2018 something whatsoever. Don't remember, but it was included. So I stuck it on there. Um, right here, if I can just get to the damn things. Yeah. We've got some cards, every single one from a trading series. I don't even know what this is about, I just kind of got them. But I got every single one of those, whatever it is, 110 I think it was. Whatever it is, I have them all, so that's cool. Um, over here is the Phantom Gallery Series 2. So I'm going to pull that one out and show you guys my cards real quick. Um, if you're not interested, just go into this timestamp and skip ahead. But um, I've got all of these ones too. So this is a different series of cards that I got. Again, every single one of those. Let's go on. But this is what this folder is all about, the Gallery Series 2. Um, I managed to get every single one from legitimate collecting, as I'm going to the news agency and buying a packet. Um, a lot of work, but I managed, and I got a whole lot of doubles. But I'm just glad I managed to get every single one of these from actually just going to the shop and getting it. And then here's the rare ones, so got that, got that, that one. That one, this one here, you're meant to only get if you buy, I think, a box. But I managed to get that one straight from the Phantom website. Uh, that promotional card. Where's the, I got two of those ones. Uh, there's that one, yeah. These ones here got some doubles. Below that, that was a bloody rare one to get. I'm so glad I got that one. So we got two sets of that. Part of one, and then this cool one. And that's a sec second gallery series promotion card. And this is just doubles of my, of the cool, very shiny ones. All my doubles are somewhere else, I don't really remember. So that was the cool gallery series. I have a cool little gap here, so I can easily reach it whenever I feel like staring at the cards. Which isn't often, truth be told. Next to that is one of the comic books they did, which is this one, sort of something whatsoever. All nice. Um, the diary for 2017, the only one I have. This isn't exactly Phantom, but it's a skull. Not a real one, but a plasticky one. See, just so you guys know. So I just have it there because it looks cool. Uh, this thing, which is super cool. And then here we have, which is one of the first, I think it's actually the first comic book Phantom they made, which was included in issue number 1000. So I got that one here to kind of show off. Color in, in book number one. There's the number two yet. So that's interesting. For those who came in late, another comic book, which they've done. And there's a second one down there too. I've actually only read this one. I haven't even started that one yet. Don't know why. 
um, one of the two Phantom Jigsaw puzzles. I got this one because I actually like this one more to the wedding one. But of course I will get that wedding one at some point, just haven't done that yet. Uh, I don't know what this is about, but I got this from a bookstore. It's just, it's not exactly Fru, which is the company that prints these things. Uh, so that's just something funny that I picked up, which I feel like getting. Uh, this is pretty neato. This is the Marvel series of Phantom Comics. They only made three and I have all three. King's Comics was selling that and I managed to get all three of them. Uh, there's a second one in between somewhere, but there's that. Uh, Lightning Strikes. Yeah, Lightning Strike. The one and only comic I, they've made, I believe. That's nice. This is really cool. Uh, the, the, yeah, another thing. Down the back here, we have a Phantom Pop figure, because I just gotta have that. I only managed to get the purple one, because they had it in the shop, but anyway. This is from a shop called Tree of Life. They just had this one, and another one that was really big, but I just felt the need to get the small one. I don't really have anything in here besides the card series, which I have, there's only one in there. I don't really collect the cards. Super Nintendo game, because that is just super cool. Um, a comic book signed by Billy Zane, uh, which is probably one of my prouder possessions. Here. And it's got the card to prove that, yeah, it's legit. Never opened, mint condition, of course. Yeah. So that goes at the back there. Uh, the two Phantom movies, one of Billy Zane, and the movie Serial, which is, I don't know what year it was made, but it's really old, black and white. Um, and the Phantom Limited Edition ring set, number 391 of 2000. I got this, I think it was on my 18th birthday. So those are really nice. They don't fit me very well yet, uh, but hopefully one day they will. I've got one pin there. I have more pins somewhere from the Kid Phantom comic book collections. Um, I don't know why I have just that one out, but I do have more somewhere. Uh, so that's the Phantom shelf I have going on here. I really like that. Uh, I just can't fit anything else on there, so that's kind of how it is. So that's nice. Now I move on to some other things. Um, down here on the floor, I got this cool banner off eBay. I just found it. I was like, okay, I'm going to get that. So Ghost Who Walks Phantom and it has his... Um, Oath written down there and the nameless one. Um, I don't really know how I found it, just got it off eBay. Over here, rather cool stuff. Um, a gun holster with gun sticking out of it. Uh, can't actually take it out, but that's just really neat. There's only a certain amount of these things made, like most of the Phantom things. Uh, that one's not numbered, I can't see. I thought it was. Apparently not there. Um, but yeah, that's cool. That's the ticket of authenticity, just in case. Um, a knife that came with it. Um, he's actually found just in a local um, yard sale. So I was very lucky to find these for less than $10. So that was cute. Uh, this one here is number 1322. I don't really know how many of these are made. Ah, oh, that's number right there, 1936. And this here is my piece of resistance, the Phantom Bust statue, which to be honest, it was really expensive, but I was insanely lucky to get that. Uh, let's just get you down here, shall we? Yeah, so that's real neato. Um, life-size bust, very spectacular. Um, when I got it, unfortunately had some kind of doozies on it. There's a line there, paint marks, whatever. But I can look past those things. I just love this thing so much. Yeah. Um, and underneath it has this told you about the throat for a second there, mate. And you'll see right here, he's number 12 of only 50. So, yeah, very lucky to get 12 of you over here. 
There we go. And of course I got this phantom t-shirt with a jumper. When I feel sexy, I'll wear it. So yeah. Okay guys, all this talking is making me tired. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All my phantom stuff. And of course I got a lot of comics, which I'm not really going to go through. There's just too many to show you. Maybe one day or something, I don't know. But yeah, and thank you. So yeah, the Phantom is obviously my favourite superhero of all time. That kind of goes without saying. And he probably always will be. Why wouldn't he? So guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and of course a comment. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.